The Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, has been touting the achievement of government at NPP's annual Delegates Conference. Addressing delegates at the Trade Fair Center in Accra on Sunday, Dr. Baumia explained that the okufuado led administration has instituted measures that have seen the improvement of Ghana's economy through the creation of jobs and the automation of business transaction mechanisms. He said the suffering has been reduced by the NPP's great policy initiatives. We told the people of Ghana that we are going to do three broad things. We are going to stabilize the economy, we are going to reduce the suffering of our people, and we are going to transform this economy into a modern, prosperous economy. This was our contract with the people of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, what a difference three years of good, effective leadership can make in a country. Because after three years in office, just three years, we can say without any shadow of a doubt that we have fulfilled at least 72% of the promises that we made to the people of Ghana. We are we have, and listen carefully because some people didn't listen carefully. We have either delivered completely or we are delivering on 72%. And we are going to put the data out so that everybody will go promise by promise and see whether we are delivering or we have delivered. We'll put the data out. Because we have done the work, we have the data, so we'll put it out and we will see when you count the amount of promises we have delivered or are delivering, we would have chalked at least 72%. That is remarkable for any government in its first term of office. Very remarkable. And thank you, Mr. President, for your leadership in this matter. Kukuru. So, how I said we are going to stabilize the economy, reduce suffering, and transform the economy. So, how have we done this? Ladies and gentlemen, we have restored economic growth to this country. Ghana today is one of the fastest growing economies in the world for two years in a row. Agricultural growth is increasing 8.4 percent industry growth has moved from negative to positive inflation is on the decline about half what it was when we came into office interest rates are on the decline and exchange rate depreciation has been tamed i know our opponents want to say that we have not managed the exchange rate well but they just are not reading the data if you look at the data, you will know that the government of Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, when you look at the annual average depreciation of the city, we, in the, since 1992, our government is the second best performing. The first is the government of Na President J.A. during 2005 to 2008. So we have seen an average annual depreciation of our currency of 8.7%. When NDC was in power between 2013 and 2016, average annual depreciation was 18%. We had 8.7, you have 18%, and you are telling us we cannot manage it well. You must be joking. You must be joking. Now, my colleague Roland Walker was in town earlier to find out what members of the public make of the Vice President's declaration that the current government has managed the economy better than its predecessor. The Vice President at the MPP's National Delegate Conference at a trade fair site on Sunday said the economy has been managed well by the Nanado-led government and that has translated in positive inferences in the livelihoods of the ordinary Ghanaian. We're here somewhere at the Kwame Nkrumah interchange area to gauge the mood of the ordinary Ghanaian 
trying to get some reactions to that statement by the vice president. Indeed, if you look at the numbers, as we have been told, not only by the statistical service, the Ministry of Finance, and also the Bank of Ghana, the numbers look good. But what can the ordinary Ghanaian say? Let me quickly just get some thoughts. Um, uh, please, what, what's your name, sir? My name is Richard. Uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm a surveyor. You're a surveyor. Now, the, the vice president made that statement. What would be your first reaction to that about the general, based on your perspective, livelihood of the ordinary person like you? Uh, in relation to how the economy has been managed and how it's reflecting in your livelihood? Uh, the economy, I don't know whether uh, the, it, it helps to be, see, uh, the government uh, should have to know what to do about it for us. And it's, it's not good. Uh, it's not good at all. The economy is not good okay. at all. When, when, when uh, the ordinary Ghanaian says that the economy is not good, what do you people mean exactly? Uh, things are not going on well. And uh, even if even, uh, the SMAs have come, but still we haven't seen anything. I think when they are talking about the economy being improved, um, the first thing that comes to an ordinary people's mind is they want to fill it in their pockets. They want to have the impact. But I think we've not seen that. So saying that the economy has improved, I think there is more to do than okay. to just say um, What type of work do you do? Um, I work at Cocoa Board. Okay. I'm at the research department. Okay. So now uh, it's good that you're a research person. But at the end of the day, when ordinary Ghanaians say we're not feeling it in our pockets, what is it that they don't, they, they, let's say the salary at the end of the day is not enough for an upkeep for the month or for the period that you've targeted, etc. Or the prices that maybe are on the market of goods and services are high or are not moderate. Which one is it? Yeah, I think the prices, because gradually prices are increasing and inflation is high. And when that happens, we know that you spend more to buy something. So I think the best thing is the, um, when they say the economy is improving, then prices have to be stable. You and I are ordinary Ghanaians. Now, we, I want to ask you about just three questions. One. How does that statement rhyme with you, too? And then we'll ask, up, which government policies have you been impressed with? And what do you think should be done better, so far, per your observation? And it's good. What's your name, sir? Ma'am? I'm Matilda. Matilda. So we're, we're here with Matilda. Matilda, um, what would be your reaction to the vice president's statement in the first place? Uh, About how the economy has been managed and how it's having a positive reflection in the lives of actually Ghanaians. not aware of how the economy is being managed and so then me as an ordinary Ghanaian I don't think it has had any positive impact on me because I'm not seeing anything and nothing has changed since they came so I would say I don't feel it in my pockets what, what does it mean when when when, when we when, we ordinary Ghanaians and we don't feel it in one. we don't feel it in our pockets in the sense that there's increment in taxes and other stuffs but when you go deep into the system, what we earn is still what we earn, okay? And with that, at the end of the day, the expenses still goes higher than what you earn. So at the end of the day, you don't feel it in your pocket. What is your reaction to the vice pre president's statement at the delegates uh, conference of the MPP on Sunday? Okay, thank you for giving me this opportunity. My name is Justice Bakun Tama, the general secretary of Migrant Labor General Workers Union. Wow. and the head of the department, like the education department uh, in international relations. This government, uh, we as a trade union, or me personally as a trade unionist, I can judge by saying that one, the NAPCO program, that is the, the employment, the avenue for employment for school leavers, and especially the youth. This is the area touches our trade union uh, movement. Yes. And uh, secondly, uh, seeing the other area, especially... They, well, they have the free SHA. They also uh, have the planting uh, for food and jobs and yes. all that. I, 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 in, uh, from my point of view, is doing well. It's doing well. Although, citizens seem to ask all Ghanaian citizens, everything seems to us 
very, very difficult. In I don't understand. What do you mean by things are difficult? Difficult in such a way that we cannot buy, we cannot sell. Mm, some views from the streets there. Now, economist Professor Godfred Bokwin, uh, speaking uh, earlier on Newsdex, said that uh, even though the economy has not fared badly, there's still a long way to go before uh, we start to feel the positive effects. I can ob objectively conclude that government is on course, that it's made some progress in terms of uh, uh, the uh, macroeconomic uh, variables or indicators when it comes to uh, maybe GDP, when it comes to um, inflation, when it comes to interest rate, that is also trending downwards. When it comes to exchange rate, of course, we have seen some volatility in the market. So broadly, in terms of the direction the economy has taken, then we can conclude with them that we, are, we as a country, we have made some progress. Then you can also look at the sentiment of ordinary Ghanaians, where the effect of these macro level gains largely have not translated to uh, the micro to some extent and then maybe the individual level. So, so those who are complaining, they also have a point. But can we ask for more within this short period of time? Maybe no. Maybe what, what we need to do as a country is to be able to build on the, on, on the gains that we have made. Because what Ghanaians are asking for is not something that can be delivered within three years or four years, I think. Because when you look at the development literature and other countries that have made it, whether you look at Singapore or even when you look at uh, Rwanda, which we seem to be talking about these, these days, I mean, we, when you take Kagame alone, he's been there maybe since early 2000s. There is a certain sense that consistency is a requirement for broader economic gains to benefit low and moderate income earners and those who are not even in the, um, in the former employment or even the informal sector. So my understanding is that there's, we've made some progress as a country, and I think when you look at the indicators, you have to be exceptionally unique to think that we are going backwards at the macro level. But we are also not there yet, and I believe that government honestly would also have to admit that in the face of the progress that they have made, mm. there is still a lot that has to be done.